Hi, I'm Stephen Walls. Welcome to a new episode on my Design to Visualization YouTube channel. I have been in the AEC industry since early 2003, helping out numerous companies across the world and have taken on many roles, from drafting and designing to model managing and implementing company-wide BIM and SIM standards, procedures, and workflows. Welcome to my weekly Design to Visualization video release, where I'll be reviewing advanced tools and workflows covering a multitude of design and visualization programs currently being implemented within the AEC industry. If you have any specific requests on what you'd like to see me review, or would even like to collaborate on these, feel free to reach out to me at stevewalls at hotmail.com. That's S-T-E-V-E-W-A-L-Z at hotmail.com. If you like what you see in these videos, please make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel in the lower right hand corner so that you can stay in the loop as I release new videos. Hope you enjoy. For this demonstration, I'm going to review the model builder tool within Infoworks. You have a couple different ways to create a new model. First one is by selecting new, and that's basically if you have some geo reference source data, whether it be from GIS or CAD, you could certainly bring that information in. Or you could select model builder, and this will create a new model if you have nothing to start your existing conditions model from. So Model Builder is a great tool to use. Anytime a new project comes across my desk, I go straight into this tool and develop an existing conditions model of my project site as it will rapidly obtain topography, waterways, drainage features, buildings, etc. in a matter of minutes. In the past, I would typically spend hours, sometimes even days, tracking down this information online. This effort typically included contacting local municipalities and coordinating with other GIS departments. Even if you're planning on getting your project site surveyed, that alone can also take several weeks before you start receiving existing conditions information. As soon as additional data is obtained though, it can certainly be imported into your existing conditions model already developed to replace any existing conditions currently shown as needed. Larger project areas will realize even more savings in time and effort. The ability to review models depicting existing site conditions beforehand will better prepare project teams for site visits. In turn, less frequent visits to the field will be necessary for better visualization of those existing conditions. What's even more important to note though is that InfoWorks also gives you the ability to export your models as an FBX file, which can be carried into a number of other programs that will allow you to view your model in the field in augmented reality simulations where you can view your models against real-world conditions, all on a, a tablet or even your mobile device. With proper data-enabled GPS setup, the mobile model is interactive in nature where the view of the model updates automatically as you move the tablet throughout the site. This type of scenario can be extremely beneficial after your proposed design has been incorporated into the InfoWorks model also. It can be leveraged as a visualization tool that provides a better perspective of existing verse proposed design conditions for site review meetings with clients and landowners, especially when negotiating easement acquisitions or real estate purchases. Circling back to the model builder tool, I just want to review some of the sources that actually generate your existing conditions InfoWorks model. So for road and railways, they use the OpenStreetMaps highway and railway data sets. Building data is also obtained from this OpenStreetMaps data set. Satellite imagery comes from Bing Maps and will be draped on top of your model. Elevation and terrain data is brought in through USGS DEMs. And water body data, such as streams, rivers, lakes, etc., are being brought in through OpenStreetMap data sets as well. Let's go ahead and define our area of interest, and we'll type in the location North Carolina. And it'll zoom in to the state, and we're just outside of Charlotte, so let's keep zooming in. And there's our site. So this is a wastewater treatment plant project that we're going to be working on. We're designing an upgrade for. So we'll define the area of interest. You could select the current extents. You could draw a rectangle. You can create a polygon, or you can import a polygon. For this case, we're just going to draw a rectangle around our site and you want to make sure you include a little extra as a buffer just to make sure you don't have to recreate this and you can see the area selected is actually shown with a maximum threshold of 200 square kilometers on the right so our 
Selected area is 1.19. Call this North Carolina Wastewater Treatment Plant Project. And with BIM 360 integration, now we have to define a folder where it's going to be stored on the cloud. And we'll build. So now basically this just says that it's going to send me an email once the model is developed. It gives me some basic information. And there you go. You've now created an existing conditions model of your proposed project site.